Jetia, this is Makola. Semini Gong, Jetia, this is Makola. Semini Gong, Yoli Satarik, you love. The plaintiff, Sheila Menu, is suing Mr. James Della for ingratitude. He averts the defendant has failed to acknowledge that his present wealth is as a result of breaking up with him. She is seeking money damages to the tune of 100,000 Ghana cities together with costs and such other reliefs the court may deem appropriate. The court is in session. Goodness, oh God. It's a beautiful day. Please take your seats. What do you have for me today? Your Honor, Malum Plolege Factum Invictus Pataku. And that is what? The beer than one fan to a free top. That's my kind. Bouncing baby girl. That's right. See the way she she said it like this. Yeah, please. My God. Your Honor. All of this. God gave this woman. Flee. Even this one is not part. This one she has to do. Human hair that have this pink. Why? How? Yeah, it's not pink. <sighs> okay, but you, you go, you just go on. Yeah. Please. That's right. Take your time before you break the court. Your Honor! This is my client. They call him Shiramenu. The defendant, James Dera. This man want to cheat my client. Your Honor! Even in the Bible, Jesus cried. They say that that part, Jesus, you know that part? <laughs> and Jesus wept. Yeah, and Jesus wept. 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 This man made Jesus wept. <laughs> That's the man who do that, for Jesus to wept. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, I do not get how this has got to do with my client. Jesus weeping in the Bible has nothing to do with my client. I think well, that... Who said Jesus weeping? Your Honor, you said Jesus wept. This man said weeping. That is the present continuous term of the, of the, of the verb weep. Why to weep. Con- why have you continued that thing? <laughs> present continuous. Weep, weeping. To weep is to weep, weeping. Wept is the past. Continue. So what? <laughs> I'm anyway, teaching you. anyway, please, for the sake of um, case watching, it was because of Lazarus that Jesus wept. Okay. Yeah. So you have the... remember me something. Jesus said that Lazarus come out. <laughs> and Lazarus come. This man. This defendant. Stop Lazarus from coming because. <laughs> This woman do something for this man. This man don't want to. This thing. Give the woman thankful. Objection, Your Honor. How is that related? How is How? Lazarus. Laz- he means Lazarus. Your Honor, I'm just trying to... If I say Lazarus, maybe he might object again. So I'm just speaking what he might just go straight forward. So Lazarus. R- R- what the... Huh? <laughs> you said Lazarus. Uh-huh. You said Lazarus got out of the grave. And so what has that got to do with my client? Your Honor. This man is, he thinks the court is this thing. Anything he can talk. Like a, this thing, parliament. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to talk about this thing. Case, we are talking about somebody get her, somebody get her. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what is that? So can we come back to your yeah, case? Yeah, I mean, tell him for me. Your Honor, this is my crime. That's dumb to talk about the thing. The defendant. So, uh, my, my client do something for that, the, the, the man, the man don't... Take your time, you are time. getting angry. Okay. <laughs> this man make me, what, 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 who's that? Please, please, carry on. Let me, okay, I relaxed. <laughs> so, please, let me hear you. So, your honor, this woman, 
and this man. That time, long time ago, once upon a time, then this man, this woman, they are the this thing, boyfriend, girlfriend. And this man used all the money he have to watch my client to go to school. To take uh, to take care of your client? Yeah. My client finished the school. My client know that the people he come to see in the school, this man is not his class. <laughs> Your, that's that's, your, that's crisis, your client. Yeah, this my class is here. My client's class come here. Okay. So the man say, I want to marry you. My client said that no, your class is here. And my class is here. Go and look for your classmate. The man say that because of what my client say, he, he, he wants to die. Your hood said. This man. Okay. So he go to this side, B side to go and kill himself. Where side? B side, beat, beat side. Where the, this thing? The, beach, your honor, that's what I'm yeah. sure he means. We are not sure. <laughs> okay, he went to the beach. Yeah, to kill himself. Okay. That place, he go and meet a woman. And then the, he talked to the woman. Even the woman talked to him. And then by the time every, my, 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 my client realized, the woman married the man. How did she realize? Was she there with them? No. Okay. That's why I say realize, because later. That's it, later he, he realized. Oh. Yeah. That's what realized me. Yeah. So, even that man don't know that the woman father, the money the man have. That man, which man? This defendant. He don't know that the woman father, the money the man have, the owner, plenty money. So, even three months after the man married the woman, the father died. He go to kill the man. Objection, your owner. <laughs> That is not true. He's accusing my, my client of murder, which please, is not true. Please, if you don't have evidence to that, and that is not the reason why we are here, please, you can't um, bring these things up. Objection sustained, please. Okay. <laughs> you are aid and abet the crime. What well, that demand do? Objection, because... your honor. Your honor, he's now accusing you of no, abetting. He's not. I, uh, did, did you mean me or you meant him? I mean him. <laughs> Objection still, your honor. He did not abet a crime. Good. So. Objection sustained, please. But still, the man die. Okay. And when the man die, all the, man, the, the money they might have and all the business they might have, this man come to sit on it. So right now, the man have all the money that man have. And my client said that, oh, if, like, I don't say that, I don't marry you. This thing you have, you, have, you, have, you have yet, how can you get it? You have not get it. So as I tell you, I don't marry you, that time is the, the, the why you go to kill yourself. And that time is how you go to get the thing. You wanna see the thing? Yeah, I'm getting you. Yeah. But this man don't want to say that. You do the thing. So I grateful for what you do. And give my client something. Because when this says do something for uh, 10 people, only two come to say thank you. Jesus get that time Jesus get angry. The, the, the way he <laughs> you know, he scattered all the church. If you watch. Jesus, you see that part. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was not because of uh, the, 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 the lack of gratitude. That was because the people were, there were money changers in the temple of God, and Jesus frowned on that, and that was what made Your Honor, how do you, you don't know. Me too, I don't know. Me, I know. <laughs> how you know? Because it's in the Bible. I can't allow you to quote the scriptures anyhow because there are children who watch you and learn from you, and I don't want them getting the wrong impressions. Please. Stick to what you know. If you don't know, leave it, okay? Your Honor, let's agree to disagree, okay? <laughs> that. Me and you, that time, then we are not there. So you say what you want to say, me too, I say what I want to say. Okay, okay. so move on to finish so your So your Honor, stay. This man don't want to give my kind something. So that's why we have dragged the man to you. That show the man that if somebody do something to you, you do you give the person this thing. Correct, sir. So we try the mind with this thing. Where I go to strip that my this thing. Uh-huh. We try the mind with lack of acknowledgement. Acknowledgement law. The same thing that Jesus wants Where to Where is lack of acknowledgement law? In which book do you find that? This book. <laughs> Don't use that law, please. Okay. Use another law, a law that he can find in this book 
and I can find it in my books. I, I have not read your book, so I don't know what. <laughs> so then, please move on with your case. So then, Your Honor, you look in your book, choose the law you, you, you want. This man too look, choose the law, then, me too, I choose my law. That say that. This man say thank you to my client and give my client 100,000. If it's too small, if you look at the money they might have, it's too small. Give my client 600,000 dollars. <laughs> and if the man don't want to pay, take the man to prison for 100 years and kill him. Kill him before. Or after, no, after the... 100 years, then came. <laughs> oh, okay. So, are we done? Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, too. Since you came back from prison, your mindset has changed. Now, the yeah. energy with which you do your things is crazy. Yeah. I think maybe he should also try prison. Uh, yeah. That's mine. <laughs> then, <laughs> you wanna... <laughs> Please, shall we hear from the defense? Thank you very much, Your Honor. Now, Your Honor, what we would like to put across here, Your Honor, my learned colleague, when he was making his case, started with the Bible. So we would like also to go into the Bible and make certain things clear in the Bible that God is the maker of all this. Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, so because I start Bible, it doesn't to start Bible. If I kiss my client, he kisses Christ. <laughs> Your Honor, that would be very unprofessional to be kissing your client. Please. Please. Let's carry on, please. Now, Your Honor, in the Bible, you remember Joseph, the son of Jacob, who was one of the 12 sons of Jacob, of course. You remember what happened to him? His brother sold him out. Your Honor, he was the favorite son of Jacob. His brothers sold him out to Egypt, and Your Honor, through the hustle and bustle that he went through in Egypt, the pain he went through, Your Honor, he became the Prime Minister of Egypt. Your Honor, the point I am making here is that... By the way, that, uh, just a correction. They didn't sell him to Egypt. They sold him sold to... Him to yes, merchants uh, uh, and then who later, sold him to Egypt. Yes. Thank you. So carry Thank on. you. So long. Yeah, I've corrected him. I've corrected him. Don't correct him. Okay. So... Wrong him. Uh-huh. I've marked it on the sheet. Wrong man. <laughs> now, Your Honor, this goes to show that it is God's plan. God always has a plan for each and every one of us. Yes. So God's plan was that my client here would meet this woman, the plaintiff here, who has come here dressed looking like Melina in Mortal Kombat. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, why does man want to say... Okay, it's true. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, Your Honor, because he met this woman and this woman did all that he did to him, Your Honor, let me tell you what happened. This man took care, which has been stated, took care of this woman. And Your Honor, he, he even quoted, um, that is President, ex-President Rawlings. And ex-President Rawlings said this. He said that, <clears throat> let me quote Your Honor. If, if, I tell you that I love you, my body, my money, now your own. 30 billion for the account, Versace and Gucci for your body, oh baby. That is what President, ex-President Rawlings said to Nana. Yes, Your Honor, you went there. Yeah, it's true, Your Honor, he said to him, Thank you. Can you be sharp and snappy? Now, Your Honor, yes, let me continue. Your Honor, if the court may permit me, I shall like this woman, I'm sorry, the plaintiff here, to stand so we show you something, so we demonstrate something to the court. All right, please. Now, Your Honor, do you see what she's doing? Your Honor, this is what we call pop up blig blig. What? Popo blibli. What do you call popo blibli? Your Honor, this, Your Honor, when somebody is shaking like this, it's called popo blibli. You see, she can't stand still. 
Objection, Your Honor. Let's not go go blink blink. This one is alarm shake. <laughs> She's a bouncing baby girl, so. Your Honor, would you like to marry someone with go go blink blink? Your Honor, would you like to marry someone who can dance alarm shake? <laughs> no. Go go blink blink. Alarm shake. Yeah, your honor like alarm shake. Your honor, we but have, it's go go blink blink. No. We have one. Give me five. <laughs> now, your honor, all these. Can she sit down, please? Yes, your honor, yes, absolutely. You have sit already, even my can <laughs> All these went into frustrating this young man here. And God saw that, no, this woman is not good for my client here. Right. So God hardened her heart and caused her to cause him pain so that he can think maybe it's over. And God says, no, I will open the gates for you. So God opened the gate. When the gates was open, God opened a door where there seemed to be no way. Rivers will flow in the water places. You remember that one? <laughs> You're done, right? No. Please be done. So your honor, that is where he met his wife now. And God has opened the doorway. And now look at him. Change your honor, mind. he wasn't like this. All right. He was very, very, I would have said ugly, but no, that would be bad. But now, look at his hair. Beautiful. All right. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Your Honor, I shall like to end with this quote. And this one says, Malum concilium quad muntari, non protest. Sule <laughs> muntari. No, Your Honor. I had muntari and protest. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. They said to muntari do to this thing. They said that. Muntali, yeah, uh, black, oh, monkey, who? That time, <laughs> Muntali walked out of the uh, football park. That time, the, they said protest. protest. Yeah. And then you are using that yeah. as your Latin. Add all that to say that it's Latin. I've got you. <laughs> no, Your Honor, this is actual Latin. And it means what? And it means it's a bad plan that can't be changed. Look at, look at, Pran and Muntali. How that they just... <laughs> So, Your Honor, thank you very much. All right, so um, just a few words, please, young man, up. Do you love her? Your Honor, I would say no. But Why do you say no? Because he doesn't love her. This is... Jesus said that love one another. Why you don't love? You um, disobey Jesus. Your Honor, I believe then you'd have to make the question more specific. I'm coming. You... But you loved her before. Yes, please. Good. Lady up. Why did you break up with him? He wasn't able to do whatever he needed to do for me. So he was fulfilling a need, but he, he stopped fulfilling that need. So I just had to. If, which was the need he was fulfilling? Um, he was able to pay for my school fees. But when I needed a flat and a car, he wasn't able to give me that. <laughs> so I had to lay him off. So you... Blake up with him. <laughs> because the guy can buy the, my client's frat and car. And a car. But he took care of you through school. That's what he had to do already. Yes, he did. And he went to commit suicide as a result of your breakup. He wanted to, Your Honor, with all due respect, but he wasn't able to go through it. Yeah, so he wanted to commit suicide. And then there he met his now beloved. Yes. And then they got married. And Your Honor, like my client say, the man wanted to. So he had even deceived death. That. <laughs> that what? That this thing. You tell them that death. I I I make ready. Come and kill me. Death come, then you stop. Why? Thank you. You say you are going to kill yourself. Death too. Thank you he, for the analogy. We get it. Uh -huh. You are you are very smart. Thank you, my lord. Okay, this is what I'm going to tell you. I think we won't waste too much time on this. You, you don't look like, and you don't appear, and you don't sound like someone I can help today. That's true. Yona, why? How can I help her? Look at her attitude. This one is alarm shake. <laughs> See, the, the, her mindset. 
that some, one somebody, to somebody took care of you and she, the person couldn't buy you a flat, uh, get you a flat and a car, so you break up with him. And then he goes to make it by God's grace, and then you say you want to have a bite of that. Yes, Your Honor. If I had not rejected his proposal, he wouldn't have gone to marry that rich girl. Let me, so at least, the yeah. least he can do is give me 100,000 Ghana cities. <laughs> Your Honor, please, if you are talk to my client, take your time. Because if you don't take your time, my client can give you this thing. Check your answer. <laughs> because my, uh, my, my client, she don't respect anybody. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, I have the punisher. And you see, I, I, I can be cheekier than she can ever be. And I can discipline her well. And I can throw her in jail. Anyway, now listen to me. You see... This is how the world is. God designs our destiny. Somebody who was born and has been designed to be a billionaire and a millionaire, no matter what you do, no matter where you put him, he will still come out to be the billionaire. So even if you hadn't broken up with him, if he hadn't met that lady, if God had designed him so, he would have been so. So what I am telling you is, if only you were patient enough to stay with him, you have no idea where the wealth was going to come from, but if it was, it was God's plan, he was still going to be wealthy. And today you might, you might have been a, a better somebody. Yeah, Your Honor, you have talked very much sense. <laughs> but if, like you say, my current patient and wait for the mind, me to how I get my job to do. <laughs> what about me? God don't design that I get my job. Maybe you would have also found a similar person designed for you and not her. Maybe. Maybe she would have come to you with a different case that would have gotten you some good money. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, then you too. Why? <laughs> why you don't take your time to do what my honor say? Hey! <laughs> All right, so please, young lady, your case is very useless. Do that. Too, too. What, what, what do you do now? What do you do? Well, I'm waiting for my next opportunity. What, what is that? She's waiting for another man who is rich so she can suck dry. That's what she said. This is my power, Your Honor. <laughs> And this is the woman you brought to my court. If you are not, if you have not asked her what you have asked her. <laughs> hey! Yona, so she's waiting for somebody to come in. <laughs> Yona, do what you want to do. Even you simple care, okay? So that we all go home. Uh, Madam Popo, believe me. I think you need to be taken care of. Yes. Even I think that, yeah, true. And you were looking for and waiting for your next opportunity. Yes, Your Honor. Good. I was thinking about so many things, what to do, what to give you, and what to help you with. Mm -hmm. A punisher. Yes, Your Honor. Can you teach her some lesson for me? Yes, I will, Your Honor. Not in this court. I know, Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, if I may, what lessons are we talking about here? It is not your lesson. Um, <laughs> is it your client they are going to teach? Your Honor. Please sit down. Your Honor. But if it's a sentence, um, ideally, oh, we should God. know. Oh, my God. You, you know. Yeah. Your Honor, please. Teach, teach my client. Okay, so you want to know the sentence, right? Yes, Your Honor. So you are comfortable? Yes, Your Honor. Good. So um, the punisher would take her. Um, to a special women's prison in, um, around the lake, Lake Bosomtri in Kuma, um, Ashanti region. And... You know there's a prison there? Yeah. You don't know? Um, I know. And detain her there for three months. Teach her lessons. Make sure... You get her medication to cast this spirit of Coco Bolivli out of her. All right, Your Honor. This court is adjourned. Oh.
All rise. His Lordship, Judge Louise Lamy. This is my collar. This is my collar. You only satiric, you laugh and laugh. This is my collar. You kind of caught where everything goes. A kind of caught where everything goes.